Today we're going to look at a very popular tool for architects. It's called Lumion, and uh, one of my one of our uh, architect clients had asked us to look into an upgrade for his uh, current PC, which is running a Ryzen 2400G with no discrete graphics card. It it uses the uh, it uses an APU, so it has inbuilt Vega 11 graphics. Um, so let's have a look at first have a, uh, let's have a look at what are the recommended specs which Lumion um, has on its website for different kind of requirements one is um, if you're running a very simple kind of requirement small building slash interiors they talk about a GTX 1050 with a core i5 processor moderate um, which is moderately detailed office blah 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 I think this is maybe a use case for um, beginners or uh, entry-level architects um, around this 1060 or an RX 570 should probably be a decent option with the core i5 and high-end graphics card for complex design uh, 1060 or a 2060 or whatever core i7 is what they recommend here with a 4 gigahertz base boost speed or higher and 32 gigs of ram and uh, ultra complex i think this is for like huge projects you need probably more ram they say 32 gigs and uh, i7 blah 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 so from this requirement spec what i understand is you need to have at least a uh, 4 gigahertz clock speed for a complex to ultra complex kind of a design requirement so technically even a Ryzen processor which is running at a uh, good clock speed uh, with proper cooling and everything should work well and your workload would, would primarily lie on the GPU and your processor should essentially not bottleneck it kind of like a gaming requirement but here you need a lot more RAM versus a gaming PC so let's quickly go through um, an actual run of the tool which I downloaded. There's a trial version and we can run, maybe check out a couple of scenarios. Um, mountains in spring looks like a good option. Let's check this out. So here I can actually load a scene and then put in different objects and then you can see like you know what kind of frames we are uh, looking at in fact let me also okay first, first let's just look at the base benchmark I read the controls on this, this is the same controls as my games WASD and uh, shift and... ah okay finally it worked let's add a bunch of trees maybe to choose a few people as well Said a few women standing next to the trees. Maybe they're tree huggers. I said a few men all over the place. Let's add a few animals, dogs, a bird. Maybe these are all people who are walking their pets in a forest or something like that. Farm animals, maybe. Uh, oh, okay. That should be the sheep. Oh, these sheep are actually a lot more detailed. And just pick a horse, maybe. Oh, not available in the trial. Okay, anyway. Maybe I'll add a cow. Yeah, cows are also available. Oh, I can actually put them anywhere on the terrain, right on the mountains as well. I don't know how cows stand there, but okay. Um, Alright, so let's see how this works. So now that we have some trees, you're not seeing much change in terms of the FPS. It's kind of still stable, 60 to 70. Maybe if I go closer, some of the people, let's go see. There's actually a pretty decent amount of detail. Okay, that's a little creepy, but yeah. I'll get this guy. Trees are moderately 
quite detailed in fact uh, the leaves look pretty okay for a uh, Uh, if you're creating a model to show to a client, which can actually move around, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Silhouettes of dogs, sheep, blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't see any change in performance overall. So this is not a bad. Uh, mm. So I am running currently a twenty seven hundred X with a ten eighty Ti. So now my process is running at uh, four four point one gigahertz. And uh, yeah, let's see if this actually helps. Nah, it doesn't make any difference. It's more or less the same. So between 3.7 gigahertz and uh, 4.1 gigahertz, okay, maybe there is some difference. I think they're comparable. They're not. It's not a huge difference. Probably. Um, maybe you need a more intensive model to do it. To actually see the difference, but yeah, I think this is, should be workable. All right, thanks for watching. Um, so my conclusion is that the Ryzen twenty seven hundred X is probably good enough if it's running at a, a moderate overclock, coupled with the GPU. GPU is probably the more important factor here. As long as your processor doesn't bottleneck your graphics card for this kind of an application. you should be good all right thanks for watching